All right, everyone, welcome back to Supreme Tech. Today, I'm going to show you a couple different ways to get YouTube onto your Amazon Fire Stick, Fire 4K, Fire Cube, Fire TV Stick, any of those guys. I'm going to show you exactly how to get it. Two different ways. Well, actually, a couple of different ways um, more than that, too. If you want to use YouTube on your Fire Stick, this is a video for you. So make sure to stick around to the end so you know exactly how to do this step by step. And let's get right into the video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, smash that like button, turn on the post notifications so you're notified every time we come out with a new video. And we're going to get right into showing you how to get YouTube on your Fire Stick. So there's two different ways to get YouTube, mainly, um, depending on what Fire Stick you have, um, there's a couple different apps that you can get. Now, first thing I'm going to show you is you're going to come up to the home screen. You come to the top left to the magnifying glass, and you're just going to type in YouTube. Now, there's a couple different selections. You can go YouTube or YouTube TV. But for now, we're just going to click YouTube. And this is the one you want. The white background with the red play button and the black letters. Now, this is the actual YouTube download. Um, you can see they also got YouTube for kids. And they got a whole bunch of different YouTube things on here. Okay. You can see they got um, a couple different kids ones. They got a sports one. Um, keep going. Let's see what else they got. But they got all those, right? But the main one is going to be this. This is the actual YouTube app. So what you want to do is click on it. And you're just going to want to download and install it. Right now is a good time to tell you about IP Vanish VPN. If you don't have a VPN, um, you're unprotected. You're at risk, and I highly recommend that everyone get one. I got a link in the description below that's going to let you get 75% off of a VPN. If you go check it out, it's the best VPN you can get called IP Vanish, and they got crazy deals going on right now. That's why I'm trying to get the word out for everyone to get it. You can have up to 10 devices. It's crazy. Um, if you don't know what a VPN is, I'm going to put in the cue card now, a video. You go ahead and check it out. It's going to explain to you why you need one and why you're actually at risk if you don't have one. Um, and this is for not just your Fire Stick, for your uh, computer, phone, everything in between. So go ahead and check that out. And let's get right back to this YouTube video. So now that we got it downloaded, we're just going to open it up. And you can just go through the prompts. You can sign in on using your Google account. Um, you can skip this. You can sign in with the web browser. You're going to have to enter a code online. But for now, I'm just going to skip it. And you're here. So if you want to sign in while you're already here, you can come up to the top left and you're going to click and you can sign in to your actual uh, account. And then you can have like all the stuff that you searched for before, like all your recommended and all the people you're subscribed to. Otherwise, you can just search as like kind of like an incognito window on your uh, Google Chrome where it just doesn't have any of your search history. So you're not going to get any of your recommended stuff. But you can come here, and I love searching on the app. You know, they got all types of different sections you could check out or just do the regular search. And it's that simple, guys. You can click on home and see what videos are trending. Now, if you don't like using an app and you uh, don't want to download anything on your Fire Stick, I'm going to show you another way that you can get YouTube and it's not going to take up any space on your memory. So let's go ahead and show you that one now. We're going to come back to the home screen. And all you got to do, 
It's real simple. Um, depending on what internet browser you use, if you use the Amazon Silk browser or you use Google Chrome or Firefox, it's all going to be the same. You're just going to click on the internet browser. Mine is the Amazon Silk. I'm going to click on it. And once you're here, you come up to the top left and you could search. You just search for YouTube. And once you got it pulled up, guys, I'm going to show you how to save it so you don't have to type it in um, every time you go. So now it's all loaded up. And what you want to do is scroll all the way up to the top and come over here to where the star is at. And you're just going to click add bookmark. Um, I already had it bookmarked, but that's all you got to do. And the big difference between the app and the web browser is that if you're on the web browser version, you're going to have this like mouse that moves around. And if you're on the app, you're just going to like, when you click over, it's just going to move to the next video and it's just going to move up and down one by one. So depending on if you like to use this mouse um, or not, that's really going to decide what you want to do. Or if you want to download an app or not, it's going to you know decide if you're going to want to use the website version or the app. If you don't want to download it, if you don't want to take up space, use the website. Um, if you do and you don't care, then go ahead and use the app. But those are just a couple ways, guys, on how to get YouTube for your Amazon Fire Stick. And everyone searches YouTube all the time. So I just figured I'd make this video. Um, you guys are on YouTube right now if you're watching this. So I'm sure you're going to, you know, you'd like to watch your videos on your TV screen if you want. So this is a good way to do that. And like I said, there's only a couple differences between the two. So pick which one you want, guys. And I think that about does it for this video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Smash that like button. Turn on them post notifications. Really helps us out a lot. And also, um, with that VPN I was talking about, it's very important to get one if you don't have one. Even if you don't get the one that I recommend in the description, at least get a free one. If you check out the channel, I got a video on a couple of free ones. It's called Proton VPN. Um, but there's a lot of features missing with the free ones. You're going to be protected still, but you know, you can get this IP vanish for about $3.25 a month. If you check out the description, um, it's going to take you to a link and it's going to show you all the prices. You can get it by the year, by three months, um, or by one month at a time. So even if you just can get the one month, you know, and figure out what you're going to do for the next month. I highly recommend that. I just can't stress enough to everyone that you got to stay protected, especially if you're, you know, watching movies and TV shows um, on your Fire Stick. And if you're watching uh, using third party apps, you got to make sure you have it. This is the one IP vanish here. I'm just going to show you. It's real quick. All you got to do, click connect, and that's it. You're good to go. And it's also got a bunch of other features in there that you could check out um, or go back and check out the video that I posted in the cue card earlier in this video. Um, explains everything, the complete rundown of what a VPN is and how to use it and where to go to get it and everything in between. So make sure to check that out. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.